In this video, I'm going to solve d2y by dx squared, take away 7dy by dx, take away 8y, is equal to minus 7, take away 8x, take away 14, e to the x. And we've been given, so we know that when we solve this, we should get two unknowns. So in the videos of this section, I've been using c1 and c2. And we're now being given some uh, boundary conditions or initial conditions, depending on you know, the context of the problem, but that doesn't matter in this case. Uh, we're being told that when x is 0, y equals 1, and d2y by dx squared is equal to 0. So you need two bits of information to find your two constants. So for every single constant value that you have in your general solution, so those unknowns, you need a separate piece of information to find them. So if you had three unknowns, you would need three bits of information. So we've got the correct number of bits of information to solve this and find our particular solution. So first of all, we'll find the auxiliary equation, which is m squared take away 7m take away 8 is equal to 0. Now, this can factorise to m take away 8 m plus 1 is equal to 0, so either m is equal to 8 or m is equal to minus 1. So the complementary function would be y is equal to some constant c1 e to the 8x plus some constant c2 e to the minus x. And that solves the homogeneous case. OK, so next we're going to need to look at that right-hand side and find a trial function. Now, on the right-hand side, we've got the sum of a linear term and an exponential term. So for the linear part, I'm going to need ax plus b. And for this part, I'm going to need something times e to the x. Now, seeing as I'm using C down here, and I don't really want to use D or E for that matter, okay? Let's just pick another letter. Let's just go with P, right? So I'm going to go with P plus P E to the X. Okay, let's run with that. Now, I need dy by dx and d2y by dx squared. So dy by dx would be equal to A plus p e to the x. And d2y by dx squared would be equal to p e to the x. OK, so now I substituted in the d2y by dx squared, so p e to the x. Take away 7 lots of dy by dx, so take away 7a, take away 7 p e to the x. Take away 8 lots of y, so take away 8ax, take away 8b, take away 8p e to the x, has got to be equal to minus 7, take away 8x, take away 14e to the x. All right, OK. So we have, um, what have we got here? We've got 1p there. Take away 7p e to the x there, take away 8. So minus 14p e to the x. We've got um, the minus 7a and the minus 8b. So minus 7a minus 8b. And we've got the minus 8ax. I think that's all the bits. Probably would have been better if I'd written them in the same order, but that doesn't matter. OK, now we can compare coefficients. We have that the minus 7a take away 8b, that's the constant term, so that's got to be equal to the minus 7. We've got the minus 8a, the coefficient of x, has got to be equal to the minus, uh, sorry, the coefficient here. So minus 8a has got to be equal to minus 8. And we've also got the minus 14p has got to be equal to minus 14. So clearly, a's got to be 1, p 
A's got to be 1. And if A is 1, then that implies that we've got minus 7 take away 8B is equal to minus 7. So B is going to have to be equal to 0. So the particular integral is y is equal to 1 lot of x plus 0 plus 1 lot of e to the x. So x plus e to the x. So plus x plus e to the x. And so this is my general solution. Okay? Right. So now I need to find the particular solution. And for that, I need to use these two bits of information. OK. Right, so let's give myself a bit of space. Now, I know that when x is 0, y is equal to 1. So 1 is equal to. If x is 0, then I get c1. I'm going to get C2 plus 0 plus 1. So that means that C1 plus C2 has got to be equal to 0. So in other words, C1 has got to be equal to minus C2. OK. Now I need to use the second bit of information here. So I need dy by dx of this. So we'll have 8c1 e to the 8x take away c2 e to the minus x plus 1 plus e to the x. Then d2y by dx squared would be equal to 64c1 e to the 8x plus c2 e to the minus x. That differentiates to 0, and I'll have plus e to the x. So when x is 0, d2y by dx squared is equal to 0. So 0 equals 64c1 e to the 0, which is 1, plus c2 e to the 0, plus e to the 0, so plus 1. OK, so I'm going to substitute in c1 equals minus c2 now. So c1 is equal to, sorry, c2, negative c2. So 0 is equal to minus 64 c2 plus c2 plus 1. So that implies that minus 64 plus the 1 is minus 63. So 63 C2 has got to be equal to 1. So C2 is going to have to be equal to 1 over 63. So C1 has got to be equal to minus 1 over 63. So the particular solution that I'm interested in is y is equal to c1, so minus 1 over 63, e to the 8x, plus c2, 1 over 63, e to the minus x, plus x plus e to the x. And that is the particular solution I'm looking for.